Hi, I'm Aubrey, and I work at Galileo where I create programs to help kids grow as innovators. I'm here today with your active challenge, Kitchen Croquet. Your goal is to create and complete a croquet course with three wickets or arches and to be reflective by stopping and thinking about how to make your course easier or harder so that it's more fun. To begin, find a space for your course. We recommend at least a six by six foot area or larger. This space does not actually have to be your kitchen. Any space that's about six by six feet will do. While looking at your space, think about where you want your course to begin. I added a piece of tape to show where to start and where my course will end. Next, collect your materials. To make your wickets, you can use any household items, but kitchen items like cans, cereal boxes, recyclables, and jars work pretty well for this. If you want to theme your croquet course, get paper, markers, or crayons, tape, and other decorative materials. To play, you will need a ball. Something that's a good size, not too big, not too small. Something like a golf ball or a tennis ball is perfect. You will also need something to use as a mallet. If you have an actual golf club or croquet mallet, great. If not, you just need something long and rigid to use as the handle, like a stick or a broom. You also need something for the mallet head. Kitchen utensils with a wide flat end, like a spoon or a spatula, work great for this. If you make your own, use the tape overlap and wrap technique. I'm using a wooden spoon and a broom handle for my mallet by unscrewing the broom head. With the tape overlap and wrap technique, you start by overlapping the two things you're trying to tape together. This is stronger than trying to attach them end to end. Then you wrap tape tightly around them where they overlap. Wrapping tape around them in two places makes it extra secure. Now for creating your course. Use your materials to build wickets from the beginning of your course. Try to create at least three wickets. Remember to be reflective by stopping to test your course along the way and thinking about what you can do to make it more fun. Make sure it's not too easy, that would be boring. And also make sure it's not too hard, that's no fun either. To make your course harder, you might want to change how your wickets are positioned throughout the course. Or you could make your wickets more narrow. Or you can add obstacles. To make your course easier, you could include guiding walls or barriers. You could make your wickets wider. Or you could change how your wickets are positioned throughout the course. When I tested my course, I noticed that I needed to add extra barriers because my ball would roll away. To do that, I would follow the line where my ball went and add a barrier there to direct it in the right direction. Once you're happy with the design of your wickets, give your course a theme and decorate it. I decided to go for an animal theme and named each of my wickets after one of my favorite animals. Now it's time to play. Try seeing if you can get your ball through all the wickets. Time yourself to see if you can do it faster. Invite others to join and play against you with their own ball or get into teams. Whatever you do, feel proud. You just made your own croquet course. That's it for this challenge. I had so much fun creating this course and we'd love to see what you create. So if you try this challenge, take a photo or a video of yourself playing it and please share. Thanks for watching. See you next time.